Uh, welcome to the National Bowling Academy. My name is Richard Shockley, USBC Goal Level Coach and Director of Bowler Development with the Bowler's Mark Company. Today we're going to talk about the pre-shot routine and how important it is. This is my good friend Dan, Dan Trisky. Good to see you, Coach. Civil Level Instructor with USBC. Dan recently got back from the team trials in Las Vegas. And Dan, why don't you give us some of your observations as to what you saw with the pre-shot routine there? Okay, well, Coach, when we were at Team USA Trials, it was a great, great opportunity to be there. The one thing that I really noticed with everybody, both men and women, is that they all had a pre-shot routine. And part of that pre-shot routine, being that they were all different, was so they can get in their little think circle in order for them to execute the shot that they need to. Right. Well, it's a wonderful bit of information. We're going to demonstrate that now with your daughter, Haley, and she's going to show us the exact way that she does her pre-shot routine. Haley's going to go get into her pre-shot routine. She's going to grab her chamois. She's going to wipe her ball down three times over the fingertips. That's what she uses. She counts them. She's going to grab her rosin bag until it's comfortable for her. She's going to hold three, four times of there. Now, Haley's going to put her fingers in the ball. That's part of her pre-shot routine. But as she now gets on to the approach and she gets in her setup, she gets the ball where she wants it in her setup here. She gets her shoulders turned. She's going to take the deep breath. And now she's going to execute her shot. So when I'm back, when I grab my ball and start my pre-shot routine, I'm thinking about where I want to get my ball out to on the lane and where I want to be standing when I step up on the approach, along with keeping a smooth, relaxed, methodical arm swing and down swing. Once I step on the approach, everything that was back before it was my turn to bowl just goes away. And then once I take that deep breath, everything is in focus and what I need to do to execute the good job. Now that we've seen Haley's pre-shot routine, you know, mine, Dan, is a little bit different. When I have my process, I always use my towel. I always want to have it folded exactly the right way. I'm just like that, very precise. I always wipe the ball off seven times before I go with my shot. I always use the air blower. I'm very, very conscious of having my hand dry with the air blower. Before I get up on the approach, I'm going to slide my foot three times, give it a little swing with my arm, give myself a little positive affirmation, make a good shot, take your time, give myself a little breathing, you know, time to be up here on the approach, deep breath and go. How about you? What's your pre-shot routine, Dan? You know, coach, my pre-shot routine involves me coming up very slowly. I go and I've got my chamois. I wipe my ball down five times. And I wipe down on the oil, get the oil off the ball, but I wipe it five times. I get my chamois down, now I step up. But again, I'm doing mine very slow. Once I get my feet in place, I take my deep breath, and now I'm ready to execute my shot. Right. And in doing this, because everybody's pre-shot routine is going to be different, they're not going to be the same, nor should they be the same. So in doing that, and everybody's pre-shot routine is gonna be different. Right. When they go out and you practice at home or in your home center, I think the people really need to sit down and figure out what works for them. Right. Because when you need to make that big shot and you need to, whether it's striking for your team or if it's at, you know, a high game, 300, whatever it may be, it helps you get in that exactly. circle to focus so you're able to go out and execute that shot. And that's the importance of that pre-shot routine but it needs to be your own. Finalize your own. So I can't tell you the importance of the pre-shot routine in your league, in your tournament competition, really focus on working on that with your game.